Gene Rayburn costs him everything after refusing to meet Richard Dawson. Gene Rayburn was a beloved American television and radio personality, best known as the host of the popular game show Match Game. Born as Eugene Rubisa on December 22, 1917, in Christopher, Illinois, Rayburn developed an early interest in the entertainment industry, particularly in radio broadcasting. Raised in Chicago by his mother following the death of his father when Gene was still a child, he eventually adopted the stage name Rayburn after moving to New York City to pursue a radio career. The new name was chosen partly because he wanted to establish a memorable persona in the media world. Little did he know, it would become synonymous with his legendary presence on television. Rayburn's early career began in the 1940s after serving in the United States Army Air Forces during World War II. His love for radio broadcasting took shape when he landed jobs as an announcer and a disc jockey, providing a springboard for his later success. He started working at WNEW radio station in New York, and his easygoing personality and witty banter quickly caught the attention of the public. Rayburn's charm and voice allowed him to establish himself as a top-tier announcer, which eventually led to more prominent positions on various radio programs, such as The Rayburn and Finch Show which he co-hosted with Jack Lascouli in the early 1950s. This radio duo brought laughter and entertainment to American homes and showcased Rayburn's comedic timing and rapport with audiences. In 1953, Rayburn made his transition from radio to television, beginning with an appearance as the announcer on The Tonight Show starring Steve Allen. His smooth voice, sharp wit, and natural ability to connect with audiences proved invaluable in this new medium. Rayburn's stint on The Tonight Show opened doors for him in the growing television industry, leading to multiple hosting gigs and game shows. However, it was his role as the host of Match Game that would ultimately define his career and make him a household name. Match Game, which first premiered in 1962, was initially a simple panel-style game show where celebrities helped contestants fill in the blanks of sentences to win prizes. However, the show's format was revamped in 1973 and it became one of the wittiest, most risque, and beloved shows of its time. Gene Rayburn's role as the host was central to its success, as his quick wit, charisma, and ability to balance the humor and occasional rowdiness of celebrity guests made him the perfect anchor for the often chaotic show. Rayburn's sharp humor and playful interactions with the celebrity panelists, such as Richard Dawson, Brett Summers, and Charles Nelson Reilly, created an atmosphere of fun that kept audiences entertained for years. His long microphone, his signature prop, became a symbol of his whimsical style and hosting flair. Rayburn's light-hearted approach and effortless rapport with both the contestants and celebrity panelists helped make Match Game a massive hit, especially during its 1970s revival. The show became known for its offbeat humor, double entendres, and suggestive wordplay which were considered edgy for television at the time. Nonetheless, Rayburn's easygoing style allowed the humor to flow without crossing any serious boundaries, making Match Game both entertaining and charming. Under his guidance, the show struck the perfect balance between comedy and game show format, setting a precedent for future programs of the genre. Though Match Game defined his career, Rayburn continued to work in various television and radio projects throughout his life. He hosted and appeared on other game shows, including The Movie Masters, Break the Bank, and Tattletales. Despite his many other ventures, Rayburn's association with Match Game remained his crowning achievement, and his performance on the show cemented his legacy as one of the most beloved game show hosts of all time. His sense of humor, professionalism, and warmth toward his audience endeared him to millions. In his personal life, Rayburn was known for his humility and down-to-earth nature. Despite his fame, he maintained a relatively private lifestyle, devoted to his wife Helen Tickner, whom he married in 1940. The couple shared a deep bond throughout their lives and had one daughter together, Lynn. Rayburn's devotion to his family was clear, and his marriage lasted for over five decades until Helen's passing in 1996. This stability and his down-to-earth nature contrasted with the often glamorous and hectic life of Hollywood making him a rare figure in the entertainment industry. Gene Rayburn, a beloved television personality and game show host, is best known for his work on the popular show Match Game. However, his personal and professional life faced a significant downturn later in his career, 
a situation that would ultimately lead to deep consequences. The pivotal moment in Rayburn's life was linked to a refusal to meet or reconcile with fellow game show host Richard Dawson, who had become a fan favorite on Match Game but left the show amid rising tensions. This decision, along with other challenges, caused a ripple effect that would, over time, cost Rayburn dearly. Rayburn and Dawson had initially enjoyed a good working relationship during the early years of Match Game, but as the show progressed, their relationship became strained. Dawson, whose quick wit and humor made him immensely popular with audiences, began to clash with Rayburn over various aspects of the show. Rayburn, as the main host, likely felt that Dawson's rising popularity was overshadowing his own role. Dawson, on the other hand, began to demand more creative control and eventually felt that the format no longer suited his evolving career aspirations. When Dawson left the show to host Family Feud, tensions reached a peak. At the heart of the matter was an opportunity for reconciliation that Rayburn famously declined. Reportedly, after Dawson's departure, mutual acquaintances and producers had suggested that Rayburn and Dawson meet to clear the air. However, Rayburn refused, citing the deep bitterness that had developed between them. This refusal is often seen as a key moment that led to further estrangement from other industry colleagues and contributed to a decline in his professional opportunities. The decision to avoid reconciliation may have stemmed from Rayburn's pride, or perhaps from a belief that the damage was irreparable. In either case, it left a lasting mark on his reputation and future prospects. After Dawson's departure from Match Game, the show's dynamic shifted, and it never quite recaptured its previous chemistry. Rayburn, who had once been at the top of the game show hosting world, began to see a downturn in his career. While he continued to host Match Game for several more years, the ratings eventually declined, and the show was cancelled. Although Rayburn sought other television opportunities, he struggled to regain the same level of success. Industry insiders suggest that Rayburn's unwillingness to reconcile with Dawson contributed to his professional isolation. His reputation, once sterling, became tinged with a perception that he was difficult to work with. Producers may have been hesitant to hire him for new projects, fearing that he would be unwilling to adapt or work collaboratively with co-stars, especially after the well-publicized feud with Dawson. This professional isolation only deepened the toll on Rayburn's career, leaving him with fewer opportunities in an industry that was rapidly changing. As Rayburn's career prospects dwindled, he faced mounting personal challenges as well. The pressures of a once-thriving career that had stalled took a significant emotional toll on him. The isolation from both the entertainment industry and former colleagues likely weighed heavily on his mental health. Friends and family noticed that Rayburn had become increasingly withdrawn and less engaged with the world around him, a far cry from the lively and charismatic host that audiences had loved on Match Game. Rayburn's personal struggles were compounded by his stubbornness and pride. Even as those close to him urged him to reach out to Dawson or take steps to repair his professional relationships, Rayburn remained firm in his refusal. This obstinance, while perhaps a defense mechanism, only furthered his estrangement from those who might have helped him in his later years. As time went on, the emotional toll of his declining career and broken relationships became more pronounced, leading to a spiral that was difficult to reverse. In the later years of his life, Rayburn's health began to decline as well. He was diagnosed with dementia, a devastating condition that gradually eroded his memory and cognitive abilities. Dementia, which affects the brain's ability to function normally, left Rayburn increasingly disoriented and disconnected from his surroundings. This once vibrant television star, known for his sharp wit and engaging personality, was now struggling with a condition that robbed him of the very traits that had made him famous. The dementia diagnosis marked the final stage in Rayburn's life, one that was characterized by confusion and a loss of independence. As his condition worsened, Rayburn became less able to communicate or engage with those around him. For someone who had spent his life in the spotlight, this loss of cognitive ability was particularly tragic. The illness not only robbed him of his memories but also left him unable to fully process or reconcile the events that had led to the downturn in his career. By the time of his death in 1999, Gene Rayburn's once bright legacy had been overshadowed by his professional and personal struggles. His refusal to meet with Richard Dawson, 
a decision rooted in pride and resentment, had long-lasting consequences that affected both his career and personal life. Coupled with the devastating effects of dementia, Rayburn's final years were marked by isolation, regret, and the gradual fading of a once-great television icon.